Okay, snack time. Now I've got a bit of a challenge for you. If you're willing to go the extra mile with your food prep, think a little bit retro, think pickles and smoked meats, then I promise you you'll be biting into gold next time you make the perfect sandwich. This is my Reuben bagel, and it's our take at May Street Larder on your classic American Reuben sandwich. It hits the spot every time. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a bagel, and we use a nice bagel that's made in WA from Holy Bagel Company. Now, the difference between a bagel and normal off-the-shelf bagels is they're actually boiled. If you don't get a boiled bagel, you're not doing the traditional thing and you're just essentially having a bread roll. Once we've got the bagel cut in half, we're gonna add some Thousand Island dressing. Like everything in this sandwich except the cheese and the bagel, we actually make ourselves at May Street Larder. Bit of Worcestershire sauce, bit of lemon juice, and a bit of house-made ketchup as well. Um, so it's quite nice and it cuts through the rest of the ingredients in the sandwich. Now, the next thing we need is our pastrami. Uh, that's actually in the smoker behind us, um, so I'm going to go grab that. And while... All right, we've got our house-made pastrami here, and so all we do here is um, cure it in a wet cure for about 10 days to suck out all the moisture, pack on some black pepper, some cumin seeds, some coriander, and smoke it for about three hours. But if you're feeling lazy, you can always buy it from a good deli. So cut off a few good wedges from this beautiful pastrami. Got a few little slivers there. Now we start assembling our sandwich, which is the fun part. Put some pastrami on the bottom. Just beautiful, falling apart. You can be as generous or as put on as little as you like. Now we've got some um, sauerkraut as well. Adds a nice real pickle element to it. So we'll do that. Now we've got some Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is an American sandwich, doesn't make sense, but Swiss is very nice. Now, usually this is where we put it in the oven or under the grill uh, to melt the cheese, but today, let's give it a little blowtorch, which all the boys will probably have a bit of fun with. Want it to melt over it so it's nice and gooey. All right. And this is the simple part. We simply put the top on. I'll get it off here. Finish it off, all we do is get some house-made pickles as well. And it's ready to eat. It's amazing how much better it tastes when you go to the effort and make everything yourself. But if it's too much effort, you can always come down to May Street Larder. We can do the hard work and you can see how we turn this great WA produce into something special like this.